Hello friends, welcome back. Today, we are gonna be drawing a caterpillar. It's not gonna be like a caterpillar that you would see in a cartoon, but it would be a, it's going to be like a caterpillar that's authentic looking, like one of these. It's gonna be much more lifelike. Today to start, you're gonna need a pencil, preferably some with an eraser so that you can erase. I'm using a black Sharpie pen because I need to be able to make sure that you can see my drawing while I'm drawing. And you need some printer paper. Hopefully you can get these items. Remember that while you watch the video, you may pause it at any given time so that you can catch up just in case that I'm going a little too fast because I do tend to go a little fast at times. And I have my nice little drawing cap on today. My hair is getting a little out of control since I haven't been able to go get a haircut. All right, let's not wait any longer. Let's get to this drawing. Lewis is also all ready to draw his caterpillar. So he has paper out and he also has a marker ready to go. All right, so today we're gonna to be drawing a caterpillar. Caterpillar. And a caterpillar is a type of insect. Can everyone say insect? Insect. All right, to start off with our caterpillar drawing, we're gonna draw just a little line kind of like this. It goes down just a little bit. Like that. Oh, yeah, kind of like a little curve, a little curve action. After that curve, we're gonna now we're gonna create a couple bumps. One, two bumps. We got two bumps going. After we create our two little bumps, we're gonna create four more bumps. That they're gonna kind of go kind of up, upward. Two, three. Four. So we have four bumps. And finally here at the end, we're gonna do a kind of like a little bit bigger curve like this. So it kind of goes downward like this. Kind of a little downward. All right. Next we're gonna draw seven lines. Seven lines. So we're gonna start all these little points right here. So we're gonna go down here, one, Two, three, I like these lines just a little bit longer. Four, five, six, and the seventh line. So it kind of looks like a cone a little bit, but not all the lines are exactly the same length. I'll let me give you guys a little time here. All right, so we have our, we have our, we have our cone looking thing. Now we're gonna draw two lines that kind of come close together, but they're not gonna connect. And so it's gonna be right about up here, right about here. That's gonna come down to about here. And we're gonna go over here a little bit farther and we're gonna have another line that comes down. That isn't gonna quite connect, but it's gonna get close. So I kind of got a little close. Our next move, we're gonna draw two more lines. Actually draw, draw this down just a little bit farther. We're gonna draw two more lines that are gonna get close to this one. So we're gonna draw one. And then this line right here, we're gonna draw a line from here over to this one that's actually going to connect right there. We have one that kind of connects there. Something like this. Then we're going to draw a U-shaped head. It's going to be right here. It's going to be like U-shaped like this. There's a little head there. Something like this. All right. Next, we're going to make just little U's. Little U's to connect all of these segments and all these lines together. So we're going to connect that one. Connect that one. 
Take that one, and that one, and that one, and this one, and that one, and here, just follow it along. It's something that looks like this. Give you a little time to catch up. It might not look like mine, it might even look better than mine. It's all right, everyone draws a little bit different. It's kind of starting to look like a caterpillar, I think. And then we want just a little bit bigger view here at the end there. All right. So our caterpillar is actually missing some legs. So there's two different kinds of legs that we're gonna learn about tomorrow. But right now we're just gonna draw the legs. So these first three legs are a little spiky, a little long. So they're gonna look like this. Come down here like this on that first segment. We got a little spiky leg there. And then we're gonna draw another one right here, another little spiky leg. And finally, this last, this segment here in the front, we're gonna draw another spiky little leg. Kinda looks like that. All right, we're doing really well. Keep it up. All right, next we're gonna draw Four little U's for these other legs back here. So we got one little U, another little U on top of that U, another U, and one more U. We got three, four, four U's. All right, after we get those four U's in, we're gonna draw four more little U's below our first U's. So we're gonna draw another one here, one, Tiny one here, two, three, and four. Kind of different looking legs, for sure. And then we're gonna add one more little U-shape, a little bit bigger U-shape than these in the back back here. So we're gonna draw like this, a little bit bigger in the very back there. All right, next we're gonna make kind of a little oval, kind of in the same shape as the head here, on the head back here, like this. So we're gonna draw a little, little shape like that, and you're gonna pencil that in, and color that in, like something like that. All right, so far so good. Now we're gonna draw down a kind of a spiky little stripe on this first area, like a spiky little stripe. And we're gonna pencil that in. If you have a pencil, you're gonna kind of shade it in. I'm gonna color it in with my black pen here. All right. And then we're gonna do another stripe here, coming down like so. And these stripes, these are stripes on the caterpillar. And we're gonna do that all the way along these segments here. So like another little stripe here. Another stripe, another stripe, one more down here, another stripe, another stripe, another stripe, another stripe, all right. Don't do anything to this very back one yet. Then we're gonna go along here, we're gonna color them all in. Color these in. Them in. These in. You're going to shade them in with your pencil. Remember, you can pause anytime too to, you know, make sure that you're staying up with me. It's okay. I'm moving kind of fast, so it's okay if you're having troubles keeping up. I'm just coloring all of these in. Coloring them all in. And then back here, we do have one more kind of stripe looking. It's a little bit bigger, a little bit longer than the other ones. All right. All right. We also can put in another kind of like a little oval shape. You can kind of do your own little shape in the back back here. I'm going to color that in. 
And we're gonna give him, give them one more little stripe here. One more stripe there. All right. Guys, this is really shaping up to look really good. All right, next we're gonna just lightly color in the tips of the legs here. Color those tips in. Color those tips in. And you can even color in the little little part of the little black tip here of these legs too. Works. And then our next job is to make little circular shapes on the segments, but they don't have to be perfect circles. They can almost be kind of like little blops, like this, little blops down here at the bottom of these segments. Put them all the way along each segment. Mm -hmm. right, not that last segment though. Once we get all our little blops in, we're gonna color those blops in. Coloring those blops in. Guys, I really wish that I could see all of your drawings. All right. You can even take a picture of your drawing and send it to me or you could put it in the comments below or something along those lines. I'm sure we could add, add your drawings and somehow you could show them to me. So we have all those little blops in. We're gonna learn about what those are tomorrow. And then finally, we're gonna add some tentacles, not on this head part, but kind of off of the head on this, on this one. One tentacle, we're gonna add another tentacle here. All squiggly lines. And there you have it, you have your caterpillar. Um, the nice thing about this caterpillar is you could potentially color in this other part with uh, pencils or crayons. And Lewis wanted to show you his drawing. Looked like he did a pretty good job. All right, good job, Lou. Hello, friends. Sadly, this concludes our drawing science class for the day. Here are a few drawings. Next week, we're gonna be talking about the anatomy of the caterpillar. What all these different parts of the caterpillar are. It's gonna be really fun and exciting, let me tell you. On Friday, I will send out a small little video about caterpillars and ask you a couple questions about them. That's gonna be fun. Don't miss that on Friday. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope your drawing is amazing. I look forward to future caterpillar talks with you. And in the distance future, butterflies. Air high five. Nice job today. See you real soon. Bye.